What's good everybody? Today I'll be talking about four sleepers to target your fantasy football draft. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, AJ Dillon. AJ Dillon is worth the target because he serves as a clear handcuff to Aaron Jones. Why is this important? Aaron Jones is 29 and this is the age where running backs start to decline. Another reason is AJ Dillon has a clear red zone role, scoring seven rushing touchdowns to Aaron Jones too. He's also a reasonable pass catcher, getting 62 catches over the last two years, and he's entering his contract year. He had a slight dip in production last year, but if Aaron Jones misses any time or starts to decline, AJ Dillon will smash next year at his ADP. AJ Dillon is an intriguing sleeper option. Number two, Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers has a pathway to become either wide receiver one or wide receiver two on his offense right away with former MVP Lamar Jackson. I don't think many people have understood that yet. Rashad Bateman is still banged up and just started participating in team drills, less than a month away from the NFL season. Odell Beckham is also on this offense, but at this point injuries seem to be a given as he has missed 28 games over the last three seasons, over 40% of available games. Zay Flowers is also getting remarkable training camp hype. As the wide receiver coach for the Ravens said, Zay Flowers is better than expected. Sports writer Peter King also said that Zay Flowers is the most impressive rookie that he's seen in any of the training camps he's been to. And Zay Flowers also said he's confident that he's going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Incredibly, Zay Flowers still goes behind Kardarius Tony, Gabriel Davis, and Juju Smith-Schuster. Zay Flowers is a great sleeper option. Number 3, Jonathan Mingo. Jonathan Mingo's value is incredible. He's getting drafted behind guys like Rasheed Rice, Marquez Valdez-Scanling, and Michael Gallup, despite having him to become a leading target for Bryce Young. He's played most of the stats with Bryce Young in the preseason and has little competition, with his wide receiver competition being a 32-year-old Adam Thielen, who is coming off his worst season as a pro, and DJ Turk, who hasn't even eclipsed 800 yards since 2019. DJ Turk is also very injury-prone, missing 19 games over the last two years. At his AP, he has amazing potential, making him perfect for a super selection. Number 4, Chigozi and McConquo. Now, a lot of people think the biggest leaper for tight ends are guys like Dalton Kincaid, Juwan Johnson, or maybe even Jake Ferguson, but I have a different opinion. My biggest sleeper for tight end is Chigozium Okonkwo. Chigozium Okonkwo has very high upside, and that's because he was way more efficient than Austin Hooper last year on less targets and less snaps. Okonkwo had 14 less targets than Hooper, and still had more yards and more touchdowns. This is because Chig averaged 3.3 yards per route run, which is number one in the NFL for a tight end. Now Austin Hooper is gone, this could allow Chigozium to be a crazy value. Well, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And that's going to do it for this episode. Peace.